I'll begin again and again and again if I must. I will never give up. For our Father did not give up on us, and I will not give up on Him. Even in the end, when they seek to destroy His Word, they just, they've already killed His Son. They took the saints and executed them as well. And in the end, the same will happen again. For they have no love for the truth. They have no love for God. For God is truth. I will speak truth on this channel. I will love God in my heart. I will lead people in a direction that will let them know that I've found love and I have the directions for instruction is found through prayer. For I am is instruction. Instruction is I am. If you seek instruction and you seek to know that direction that leads you to love, have faith, bend your knees, and ask. Ask for instruction. Ask for Him to warm your heart. Ask for Him to give you mercy. Ask to be filled with the Holy Spirit and to be circumcised in love. For circumcision everyone needs. We all need the bad things sniffed away and to be made perfect. For His love is perfect. This is not a new idea. This is not something that can be remade, rewrapped, or made into something that it is not. For there is only one thing, and that thing will stand the test of time, no matter what. Even if they bring someone else in that pretends to be him. He will be an idle shepherd. His truth can never be true. It will be a lie. For he is a liar. He is a thief. He will deceive, destroy, and he will bring you to damnation. The Son will heal, he will fill, and he will lead you to salvation into an eternal kingdom that is indescribable. For his love is never ending. There went a bird. That's how God works. A bird flew over as I speak about him. For he is all around us. If there was no God, there would be no bird. There would be no me. There would be no you. There would be nothing for us to enjoy. We wouldn't have our phones. We wouldn't have anything. But are these things important? Are they what truly makes a man? For if a man weighs his happiness, if he weighs who he is and what his day is going to be on possessions, then he has no love for God. Not really. For God will direct you. He will give you instruction. And He will let you know that nothing that nothing that you own can bring you happiness. For happiness is not brought, cannot be, happiness cannot be given through an iPhone. For you cannot give happiness with a gift. The only happiness that you can get that is true and will never ever falter or fail is the spirit of love for Yeshua is a loving spirit he offers us gifts his father gave us a wife gave her a matrix to give birth to give us a family and his son offers the gift of prophecy in the end. And he gave all to give us these gifts. Not only did he lay down a path to salvation, he lays down a path in the end 
for us to survive and become as I am. For in this time, the Spirit is being poured out. It's everywhere. It always has been everywhere. But we, we seek after men. And if you seek after men, then you seek after sin. And if you seek after sin, then you seek death. We don't seek death here. If we seek death, we seek death to be brought back to life. To be made new. And new we will be. For we are God's real ministry. And we are a loving people who love God. For God loves us. He gave us everything that you see. Everything. And I mean everything. He gave us you, you, you. He gave us the ground we walk upon, the water we drink, the food we eat, the family we love. He gave it to us. And He also offered us a way to keep these things forevermore until the end. He laid down a path that is straight and true. He gave us everything and even helped us to be made new. For we are not perfect. We are made in flesh. And flesh is of sin. For the prince of the air, the one that they call as a bub, Lucifer, that old serpent, he reigns in this land. He always has. Now, he is sending one that is stronger than him. For he will have dominion over all men. And he will not hide as Satan has for so long. He will be a man in the flesh that will shew himself as God. He will perform, perform miracles, but they will be lying miracles. They will be built on lies. They won't offer anything. They will offer death. And death is sin. And sin is death. So he will be a sinful man, but he will be a charismatic leader. He will seem as though he loves man. But what do we know of Lucifer? Lucifer despises mankind. Lucifer seeks to destroy us because his father loved man more than he loved him. So don't be deceived. The anti-God is exactly what he is. He is a God that is not a God. But he thinks he's a God. And people will say he's a God. But he's no God. He is the anti-God. He will be the opposite of God. He will do anything he can to bring people not to falling to their knees, but to falling away. He wants you to fall away, forget about him, and then come on down to his house and burn with him. He wants to bring you death and then put you in hell and make you want to die every day. But you could not die. You cannot die. That's the, that's the good part. Now people say, now why would a loving God make a hell? Why would he do such a thing? Why why would he do such a thing as offer us a heaven? Why would he do such a thing as to give us a wife? Why would he do such a thing as to offer up his son so that we might find a way back home? People, our father, he has done many things. And we cannot and will not ever understand everything he does. And I am just a man. You can ask me why. I don't know why. But I would bet there's a real, real, real good reason. For good will always triumph over evil. But in this time, there is so much evil that people think that evil is good. They're painting good as evil and evil as good. And people are accepting it. They live to die and die to live. Sin is in. There's so much evil that we've accepted it. we have accepted evil now. 
That's all we see. We see evil, and we say, oh, that's all right. I like that. <laughs> Evil's cool, man. Yeah, heck yeah. Everybody doing it. Let's do it. I'm going to tell you. Whenever they start mocking God, scoff, scoffing at Him, loving themselves, and boasting about how much they are, and we start seeing signs in the sky, And the people fall away instead of falling to their knees. Look to a deceiver instead of looking as a believer unto God. Then the time is at hand. Now, the time is at hand and it does seem bleak. And bleak it will be, believe that. But there is a light. There's a light that shines inside everyone who has accepted the Holy Spirit. There is a light that will guide us if we will only seek instruction and there is a light that we will enter into when we die and we will have glory in the kingdom for he is glorious he is so you ask why why did Lucifer deceive man why did Lucifer not ask for forgiveness from his father why do we sin and accept it as good? For there's spirits at work here. And I think they have to be separated. If they are not separated, then what would we have? We would have chaos. And God is not the author of chaos. He is not chaotic. Anything He does will be an understanding and it will be guided. It'll be perfect, for He is perfect. So if you ask why, you should probably pray about it, seek instruction, and then ask for confirmation. And He'll give it to you. He'll give it to you. Right now, the Spirit's been poured out. There's people in Hollywood falling to their knees. Now, that if you see that happening, that should have been uh, when you said, well, it's then. <laughs> That's what I said. I'm going to say this. I've said it before. I'm going to say it again. Start paying attention to the clouds. Uh, pay attention to everything. The Spirit will literally speak to you. Now, I know that sounds insane, but I'm not schizophrenic. And if I am, uh, then I forgot to take my meds. And it maybe I'm not schizophrenic, and I don't take meds. And if you ask me, people have forgotten that God heals. They go to a physician instead of going to the physician of all physicians. For the one that can truly heal. He'll heal you on the inside and it will work its way to the outside. He will make you new and you will make people new around you. Just by witnessing, giving testimony, putting in good works, being good. For if evil was able to enter into heaven, it wouldn't be pure anymore. That is why no flesh can enter the kingdom. For the kingdom will be completely pure. There will be no sin there. There will be nothing that is not perfect. So, I do not claim to understand everything about God. And the scripture says we won't understand. But we are to be as babes and come unto Him. And He will teach us guide us shows love he'll have mercy upon his people and most of all in the end he will protect us and protect us he shall for we shall be protected by I am for I am is protection he is he came down as a man he preached to his people he reiterated <laughs> His teachings once again. And he done it this time. Not as a spirit that you could hear. But as an actual man. He experienced mankind. What it's like to love. What it's like to feel. And then. As a man he died. He died as a man. 
But when He returned, He was as a God. For He was truly reborn and remade. Now some say He was God before, and He was. But He was still a man. He did have a moment where He said, Father, why have you forsaken me? That tells me that he was a man at that moment. Because God never falters. Never ever questions. But when he returned, he was as God. Now that is my belief. And people accepted him as God. But they knew that everything that he had taught, everything that he had told was true. Now, if you get into your Bible and you look into the prophecy, it says that he is the spirit of prophecy. So, if it says that mankind will start prophesying, they'll start dreaming dreams, and then that means that if you've accepted Yeshua, which is known as Jesus, the risen Christ, then you will be prophesying. For the time's at hand. People are prophesying every single day. But the key is interpretation. Now that's been the key from the beginning. If you have no discernment and you have no good within you, if you have not washed clean, if you have not tried to abstain from sin, you have no discernment. So you cannot interpret the spirits correctly. You can't tell what's right and what's wrong. And everything's been painted as good man it's all good it's all good it ain't all good it's mostly bad to be honest most of it's evil it's evil 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 and I'm going to tell you people think evil sweet sweet as honey but it ain't it'll turn bitter in your belly and you can keep on eating that evil up and it'll, it probably tastes pretty sweet but it will be bitter now there is a famine. Now we're not talking about being hungry here. Because I'm pretty hungry. But you know what I do when I feed? I pray. I bless God. And He blesses me. I love God and God loves me. And if you love God, I'm asking you as a brother... I'm asking you as a friend, as a fellow servant, fall to your knees. Ask for forgiveness of sin. If you haven't accepted him, accept him as your Lord and Savior. Ask for instructions. Seek guidance in all things. Ask for knowledge in all things. Countenance, patience, wisdom, and if you ask, you shall receive. If you have faith, then you will endure. You'll endure today, you'll endure tomorrow, you'll endure the next day, and you'll endure until the end, if need be. Now God's people are going to have it rough in the end, but we've had it easy for a long time, really, especially for the last four or five hundred years. But what have we done? We've gotten lazy. <laughs> We, I mean, we're so lazy, we don't even want to get up and brush our teeth. We don't even want to go in there and uh, put our pants on and uh, make breakfast. We want instant gratification. We want it our way right away. We want it the easy way. Now, nobody ever, ever, ever said that God's way was the easy way. But what it is... Is this the right way? It's the good way. It's the way that will endure until the end. It's the way that is straight and true. So, seek him out. Get in the scripture. And you'll start seeing signs if you ain't already. Tell people about him. Most of all, have faith. For a faithful man is a man loves I am. I am faithful I am and I seek to endure to the end. My name is Brandon Halsier. Trust your memories. 
and trust God and he will guide your mind back into remembrance for things are changing the only changing I'm seeking is ones that are made in love made in our father's image as we were and as we are and as we shall be I am I am I am God bless